Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. Fiend Folio. Fiend Folio is just a fun word to say, isn't it? It's just a fun word to say. Right, we're gonna randomize. Ooh, do you know, Eden's one of those characters that regardless of how often it shows up, I'm always willing to play it. And we got 109 uh, tokens as well, it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, it's just a good character. Ooh, we get Isaac's heart and we get, um, I forget what this active does. It, I think it like destroys our trinket and gives us a fiend, uh, a fiend folio, uh, golem rock. Occasionally fire tears that cause bleed. Yeah, that's exactly what it does. Okay. Um, beggars pay out twice, spawns a judgment card when crushed. Okay. Interesting. This is this is a pretty interesting start. Obviously, Isaac's heart is um, the the most interesting part about this. I'm ooh, very very good start there. I'm a little apprehensive as to say this is going to be a good run, but I do like Isaac's heart. I am one of the few, and that that little incident there might make you think otherwise. But I'm one of the few people out there that I I really like Isaac's heart. The the new Isaac's heart that is. Old Isaac's heart was bad, but new Isaac's heart I think is pretty damn good. Um, mainly because of what you're seeing here, where I'm just able to push enemies back and deal a bit of extra damage to them. And I'm also really intrigued by this, uh, this active item. I think it's going to be pretty good. Also, why is this room, like, tanking my FPS? What the hell? All these fires. Burning basement's such a, like, tragic first floor. Oh, wait. Oh, it's not lagging. It's these webs. Ah, like, slow you outside of the room. We've already taken a full heart's worth of damage, so you may be thinking... Hey, Turtle, do you still like Isaac's heart? But I do, I do, I promise. I might sound disingenuous, but I do. I really like it, and I'm going to continue to like it. We just need to get some items that, that work well with it. Um, the good thing is, as well, like like we saw already, we can go into our uh, um, thingy rooms pretty easily. Oh, this is unfortunately not a very good item. I mean, it's not bad, because we can do a bit of extra contact damage, but it's not great. Also, I'm going to make sure to use this on this one. So what we get. We got a judgment card there. Um, grind into a common or rare trinket. Okay, that's not very good for us. We'll keep the bleed shot ones going right now. And yeah, we'll try and play our best with with uh, Isaac's heart, but no promises that it's going to keep up for long. I'm hoping that guy doesn't touch the fires. Don't touch the fires. Don't touch the fires. Okay, thank God. He becomes much more of a nuisance once he touches the fires. Hello, we got a champion there. The bleed shots seem pretty good. I'm liking those. I'm liking those. The, uh, the 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 current trinket that we've got is pretty good. One interesting thing about this rock thing is that we're always going to be cycling trinkets. We're always going to be changing them. And I pretty much will just, unless I get one that's really good, just keep cycling until uh, yeah, until we get something really amazing. Otherwise, even if it's even if it's like this where it's good but not amazing, I'm still just going to cycle it. I think. Can I bleed the boss? I would imagine so. I think. One one thing that's going to be problematic with Isaac's heart is bosses like this that, that that put a lot of detritus on the floor and around. Anyways, for today's question of the day, what is your beverage of choice at the moment? I'm just saying that because I'm currently drinking some Coke. Oh wait, the fire didn't hurt the heart. Can I not? Can I not take damage from the heart? Um, the fire doesn't hurt me. What? <laughs> okay, I did not know Isaac's heart was immune to fire. That is an interesting development. What on earth? There's a fish there. <laughs> Strange. Yeah, that is an interesting development. I did not realize that that was uh, the case. While not specifically useful past that floor, that's still pretty good knowledge. Still pretty good to know. Oh, for God's sake, I moved a bit weird there. I'm probably going to take quite a lot of damage here that I don't intend to, but... Hey, her. That is the life of an Isaac's Heart user. Um, chance for coin machines to be free. That's not very good for us right now. We need one that's more general and based on, like, damage. Well, what the hell's this guy? I need to remember as well, something that I forget quite often with when I'm using Isaac's heart is use your body as a blocker. Using your body as a, as a blocker for your heart is the best way to keep it safe. Okay, well, we've got enough keys now. We can go and uh, check this out. This is an incredibly good room. We're going to get a lot of stuff out of this. Also, the insta-break on the giant poops is quite funny. This is quite a valuable room here. We got a second petrified poop as well. 
I'm going to keep the uh, the poop for now because I can grind that into another rock as we go ahead here. Yeah. Good amount of money there. Very good amount of money. Easiest room here. We'll check out the shop. Birthright. Spawn three random items from random pools. Only one can be taken. Ugh. Ugh. Not very good. I mean, I'll take a lump of coal, but that was not a great selection there. Not perfect at all. But yeah, I'm, I'm drinking some Coke at the minute, and I just thought, why not? I, I, I tend to just base my questions of the day based on, like, what I've just been doing or I'm currently doing. That seems to be the best way to come up with new new ones. And sometimes they're not even new ones. Ipecac's also amazing here. Ipecac's kind of a weird one, actually. Because Ipecac plus Isaac's heart could lead to some issues. But, oh, hello. Yeah, I, I kind of expected that. Some different effects for smelting different trinkets, I guess. Wasn't expecting this, but I'll sure take it. I'm a little worried about my current HP situation. I'll be honest. It's not great. Okay, let's just check what this uh, trinket does. We got a little aura around us, so I'd like to know. Repels close by enemies and projectiles, but slowly drains in power over time. Can be recharged with batteries. That's kind of interesting. That's kind of a cool idea. Right, we do have access to every secret room now. We ought to uh, make sure we utilize that. Especially for situations like that. So much money available to us right now. Uh, I do want to quickly go as well and uh, for one, find my other secret room, which I believe to be here. Yeah. Uh, also go back into my cash room because I believe... Glass D100. No, thank you. Um, I should probably bomb the mushrooms as well. You've got to love an Ipecac run. I'm pretty sure there was some blue fires in here. Yeah, there was. Just for that extra small chance of HP. It's not super likely, but I think it's worth doing the extra effort. We also should try and find a crawl space if we can, considering it's pretty free if we do end up finding it. I reckon it's in this room somewhere. We, if we don't find it in this room, I'm not going to go gallivanting across all the other rooms. Oh, that's a really annoying enemy for us. Okay. No worries, we didn't find it. Oh, I hate it when he does that, when he just disappears straight, straight away. One problem with Ipecac that we have is we really don't want to be holding down to fire, but at the same time, we're in a little bit of an issue situation here where we can no longer charge Isaac's heart very effectively because if we charge Isaac's heart, we have to hold down fire, which I feel is not conducive to our success. Can you jump out the wall already, you freak? Thank you. This is good. Shot speed's really nice. The plus two soul hearts is fantastic and also makes that character look pretty cool. Um, okay, let's keep going. Seems that the repel thing has worn off pretty quickly. My glowing aura seems significantly less bright. Oh no, it seems brighter now on this floor. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. But a good old Ipecac run's always fun. I think Ipecac's one of those items as well that just has the has the potential for some weird synergies. Some usually quite destructive synergies is more the case. And I think Ipecac plus Isaac's heart. It's kind of interesting because we can do some we can do some. Pretty sus moves that that would normally be pretty bad. Um, we definitely don't need Thunder Thighs here. Oh, a little Heretic's pretty great. Um, like, we can do this. We can, like, run... Uh, of course I got hit by a fucking, like, sh shot there. Um, bonus luck of holding another Geo. That's pretty bad, to be honest. But plus one luck for now is decent. Uh, yeah, we can, like, run directly into an enemy and shoot. And as long as they don't do what they just did there, where they spew up a bunch of other shots, most of the time we aren't going to uh, take any damage for it, which is really nice. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God damn it. But then there's the other, the other side of that where sometimes the heart is closer to an enemy than I thought, and I end up hurting myself. Or we walk into a room and immediately take damage like that. Some BS there. Okay, we did get another soul heart here. What's with all the bloody... 
wimpy dudes, go away. One of these can give you a soul heart? Oh, you could have done. Would have been so easy for you to do so. Oh, bugger! I basically can't shoot an enemy while walking backwards. That is going to be my downfall. I really cannot do that at any point. 33% uh, chance to spawn a random pickup upon killing a champion. That's pretty good. I think the Eraser is like one of the most useless items ever now. Uh, constantly fires. Okay, nice. Dude, I'm going to take so much damage now. Ipecaca's like wrinkled my brain. I don't know what I'm doing. That, that helps significantly. We might as well raise our angel chance while we're here. Didn't even raise our angel chance. I thought I thought doing that raised your angel chance. I was lied to. Oh, this is a really bad boss for not being able to hold Isaac's heart. We're gonna get hit a few times here, I reckon. I don't know, we're just just the once. Okay, thank God we're getting very, very regular soul hearts. Because right now, I am not in a position where having Isaac's heart is very good. I do have a lot of speed now, which is good. Speed should help. That doesn't synergize. I need to just check. That doesn't synergize with Ipecac, right? Um, rocket in a jar. Rocket in a jar, Ipecac. That's the first thing that comes up. Um, it doesn't list any synergies with it. There's a clip here online of Rocket in a Jar plus Ipecac. I want to see what it does. It's three minutes long. Ah, that's with Dr. Fetus for the bomb immunity. Okay, no, I don't think that does anything for us. I'm going to take the random. We've got speedruns. Speedruns really good. Really good. Basically, if we can complete a room quickly, um, we... Uh, oh, hello. If we can complete a room quickly, we get uh, extra rewards. And a lot of the time, we will be completing rooms quickly. Oh, this is a really, really, really good uh, item there. Care of that poop. So yeah, you see a timer pop up, so we've got 12 seconds to beat this room. And the thing is, we are going to be killing the rooms um, very, very quickly, so we're going to be getting the extra reward pretty much every time. Whoa, this turn dude's pretty cool. So, it's basically like a contract from below with conditions. But I do believe that when you beat the timer, it guarantees a drop, even if the room wouldn't have regularly dropped anything. Just missed the timer that time around. It, it does base the um, the timer on how many enemies there is in the room. I think. Dude. Okay. Should check the secret room everywhere, really. Just in case. Ooh, you're cool. You're also dead. I thought that was a, a tinted rock, but it was a cactus. For pennies, nice. No secret rooms. Oh god. These guys do not stand up to bombs very well, which is good. Rooms like this, I'm just basically accepting that I probably won't beat before the timer runs out. Like, I can, but it's, it's tough. That one I managed to, actually, but a lot of the time I'm not going to be able to. Spawn a blue fly each new room, spawn 12 when crushed. This is pretty good for us right now. 
Soul Heart's pretty good. Oh, it actually spawns an item straight away. Nice. We'll take Sack of Pennies because that should pay for itself given enough time. Good, good. But what the hell are these enemies? I swear, like, some of the enemies, I don't know if people find this, but, like, this enemy, um, which I think is from Ipica, uh, from uh, Fiendfolio, and a few other enemies, like, the spriting seems, like, off. I like, not saying that they're bad. The sprites are good, but, like, Fiendfolio has a very good uh, track record of their sprites fitting into the base game very well. Then all of a sudden, sometimes it just, they just weren't. I don't really know what that's about. I, I think it's just because, like, there's, like, different artists worked on different things, I guess. I'm not really 100% sure. I'm not complaining as such. I've just something that, something that I wanted to point out. Um, plus six range, three range of holding another Geo. T is now shooting an arc. Well, T is already shooting an arc, so I'm interested. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's hilarious. I wonder how, um, how easy that's going to be to hit. Also, where the hell is that secret room? Okay, that doesn't seem too hard to hit. We got double judgment here, which I'm just going to pop down. Actually hitting them is going to be another story, but we'll try it. There's our secret room. Okay, this is an odd room as well. Just a bunch of bombs that we don't need. Ooh, we got one of these chests. I believe they explode at a certain point, but I think they're relatively safe from the explosion, right? I think them, uh, them coins can give you an all stats if you're lucky. Yeah, they explode, but it doesn't affect us. Bomb beggar. Honestly, bomb beggar we might as well go for because we have 20 bombs that we literally have zero need for. Um, plus 10 bombs, troll bombs, maybe giga bombs. Bombs have giga explosions. Imagine if it worked with this. I didn't think it would. Nice. That was a very quick payout from a bomb beggar. Not quite sure where second secret room is. Also, Dormimix being janky as fuck, as always. They will never not be ridiculously janky. Apparently, the next patch is going to fix them, but... The next patch could be a while away yet, so I'm not going to hope for that anytime soon. So it could be down here. Yeah, it is. Nice. Another bomb beggar. Nice. Eternal Heart's decent. Not super useful for us right now, but good enough. You, you are eating all the bombs. Okay, a look upgrade. I'm pretty happy with that. Wow. You were terrible, weren't you? You were just terrible. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. We're kind of min-maxing a little bit more on this run. We don't need to, but oh my god. Damage you just got. What on earth? Oh, I, I always forget that speedrun also increases um, the... Boss drop dropped if you beat it in time. Ooh. Well, stairway here is doubled, which is weird. But we're definitely going to take stairway. We don't need two stairways, but I guess we got them now. I don't think it does anything for us. Oh, God. Ow. Um... Chance to spawn Gemini familiar when taking damage. Gain little Steven familiar for the room when entering with half a heart or less. Gemini chances are improved and little Steven can spawn. Okay, whatever. We'll take that. Okay, stairway should be pretty darn useful for us here. We have a good amount of money still. Um, down to the next floor. Let's keep it going. One second. Right, let's get up our stairway. I'm kind of hoping for Herming here. Herming would be good. Uh, Trinity Shield. 
It's decent, but it really doesn't do all that much for us with Isaac's heart, so I'm going to say no. I know that seems weird for Stairway, but honestly, with Trinity Shield, it really doesn't do all that much for us. Ooh, can I take spicy keys for free? Yes, I can. Beautiful. God damn, this is the sort of reasons I love Isaac's heart. Get some impish boys. I think, yeah, saving our money for something potentially better is a way better idea. Uh, also, I'm... Sack of Pennies is paying out double, maybe, as well? Brill boy. The Sack of Pennies seems to be paying out double as well, which is kind of nice. Grants Brimstone at the start of every fourth room. Intriguing. Teddy Touch. Teddy Touch is actually pretty fucking good. There you go. Room over. Picking up a Soul Heart has a chance to give you a Holy Mantle. That's decent. We don't need it right now. Yeah, Isaac's Heart's Teddy Touch is kind of broken. Also, the audio in that room is kind of broken too. Yeah, I think picking up Sack of Pennies was a really good shout. Okay, so now we got Brimstone. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Teddy Touch, E. coli, plus Isaac's Heart is such a broken synergy. It <laughs> just makes every room a fucking joke. That's one secret room. That's a second secret room as well, the harder one to find, so I'm glad we found it. Um, damage is the player half a heart on the first hit. Blocks damage from... Really? Okay. I don't really want to bother with all those pills, to be honest. We have no need for them. Nothing there. <clears throat> There's our secret room here. Reveals the boss room on the map. The boss room exit door is replaced with a door to the treasure room after clearing it. That's a really good trinket, but we don't need it. <laughs> Buying items. Oh, that's pretty good, to be honest, because if there's um, items in the uh, stairway that we can't afford, we can still get them. It'll, we'll take a stats down, but it might be worth it sometimes. I doubt there's ever going to be a time we can't afford them, to be honest, though. Like, we are demolishing most things right now. <clears throat> it just feels like cheating. I just walk into enemies, take no damage, and they tend to poop. We got a plus four luck this time. Or plus five, even. We get some range up. Great. Oh, that's not free. I thought this would be free. Anyway, I'm going to go this floor anyways. I thought going down here would be free. I thought Isaac's heart would save me, but it does not. Might is pretty good. We'll take it. I'll also take an eternal heart. Why not? I should probably should have uh, destroyed those blue fires while I was there. Okay. Keep pushing forward. Ooh, we got one of these. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Jupiter is not something I care about. Honestly, this room is just not for me. I don't really mind. Hey. <laughs> Get shit on, kid. It feels like kind of like a pacifist run. I am killing stuff, but increased damage to enemies within um, 2.5 tiles. Okay, that's pretty decent. Oh, the bloody red bricks. I hate them. I hate them so much. 
Um, don't think we need that. Oh my god. It's so difficult with Isaac's heart. Ow. We got a spin down shard here, which is pretty interesting. Fuck. No. I forgot we had mega bombs and now I can't get over to get the fucking... Oh, you... Wait, I can't even get the item. The... I literally can't get... Fuck. There's a huge rock there as well. Fuck you, game. <laughs> that was savage. I need flight so badly now. I need flight so badly now. God damn it, that was so annoying. Poop. Oh, you don't get tend to poop. Thought it had you. Oh my god. I'm taking damage for zero reason other than the fact that I want to run into everything. What the hell are you? Okay, I was like, well, how the hell do I get over? Then I realized it was a teleporter. I do not like this at all. It's a horrible room. <laughs> I could turn these guys into poops before the fight even starts. That's amazing. <laughs> I didn't realize you could put out this guy's fires as well. And the fires that he spews out can't hurt us, right? I still got hit a bunch, though. That is perfection itself right there. We needed that so bad. Thank you for that HP. Desperately needed. Also, our character's looking fresh. I love the little animated ghost thing we got on our head. Yeah, no thanks to all of you. No thank you. What we got here? A one cent black sack. I will take it. It was just a bunch of bombs, bugger. Let's keep smashing this. Extra speed. Shoe pedal. To be fair, I'd say having a pedal in your shoe usually makes you uh, move slower rather than faster, but you do you, Fiend Folio. Oh! Ho oh, oh. ho! Oh, the speed run. It proves itself to be amazing. Almost up to full HP here. We've also got the entire other side of Mausoleum to go check out as well. In case you forgot. Oh, oh I knew that was going to hit me. Fuck you. God damn it. Got them all. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Get wrecked. Okay. Sometimes I accidentally slip past the enemy and walk right into it. So sometimes it doesn't quite work. It's, oh, it's these enemies. I keep walking into them. I need to stop trying to um, make them into poop. It's not working. Holy shit, we're getting a lot of nickels right now. Nice. Crows. Crows. Ah, land crows. Thank you. Additional shop. Gulp one trinket upon entering a new floor. Rerolls any trinkets on you. Smelted or not. That's pretty interesting. It's not very good right now, but overall, that's a pretty cool item. I like that idea. Taking damage grants a temporary shield. Do you get secret rooms in this area? I wonder. I don't think you would, but it's worth finding out.
Doesn't look like it, does it? Still, I love the split mausoleum idea. It's a little different to how it was before, but it's still a really, really good thing to extend the length of this floor a little bit. Thank you. Right, let's make our way back. Red Brick, do not dare hit me. Do not dare hit me. Right, away we go. Stairway, be kind to me. Give me everything you can. All of the good, please. One moment. Right, let's go. Item room first. Wait, no, stairway first. That was that was close. Revelation, it isn't that good, but it does at least give us flight. Excuse me. We're not really able to charge up the Revelation beam that easily. But yeah, it gives us flight at the at the very least, so. Sulfuric acid's a little bit of a not so great one. We also got cool glasses. Picking up pennies seems to do things now. Oh my god. Flying enemies don't work with the dirty mind. Don't don't even try. It just doesn't work. Oh, this fucking room. No. Go away. Excuse me. Oh, we've still got a grip. Touch both of these, I see. This is pretty good with the setup we got right now with the cool glasses. Enemies having the chance to drop temporary coins. Nice. Teleport Isaac to a black market. I'll keep the uh I'll keep the Joker here. The reverse Joker. Wait, do we lose coins per room here? Oh, I think I think what happens is we lose some of our coins every room, but they drop it on the floor in the next room. Which we don't actually need at all, but it's a way of getting the effects to be usable. It doesn't mean that we have to pick them all back up every time. Right. Wrong way here. Make a pretty cool noise when you pick them up. Ooh. Now this is a trinket that could be incredibly strong with this sunglasses set up. Um, I doubt I'll use 4.5 volt at all, so I'm not going to take it for now. Isaac's heart, get out of the way. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of health out of this. It's going to be good stuff. Oh my lord. That's a lot of hearts. Back up to full HP here. The Revelation Speed does do a lot of damage. I'll give it credit for that. Got knife piece two there. We'll take that. Let's do the Joker. So many half soul hearts. Um, I don't think there's anything here that's actually worth anything to us, you know. Unfortunately, so all of those seem pretty doo doo, pretty caca. Pop a holy card, because why not? I love these enemies that like eat other enemies. Hey, you flying away from the poop? Oh, 
A lot of stuff. It's all the cards. Ah, plus three fireballs. I don't care about that. Okay, so it seems like our best tactic is run into enemies, turn them into poop, or just pick up all of the coins. Because god damn do they do a lot of damage. I didn't realize it was quite this much. Like, one coin kills everything in the room. I'm guessing it scales with how much money you have, maybe? Which is why it's doing so much damage. But it is an insane amount right now. Oh, um, yeah, I'm gonna say, maybe it is just because we have Ipecac and 46 damage. It must be that. Also, we're gonna have to buy some things to get through there, unfortunately. Yeah, because we have an insane amount of actual damage right now on our stats, so it would make sense. What the hell? I was just gonna say, where the, where the hell haven't we been? But there's one room up this way that we haven't been. Holy shit. Holy shit. Really? You didn't die? You were underground, escaping me? And that guy couldn't die because there was already a poop where he was? Soul of Fiend. Soul of Eve. Soul of Bethany. Hey, we had to keep the th the fiends, boys. I didn't think we would. Only turn into black hearts after a room. Okay. That's pretty amazing. Why can't I poop these guys? Poop you. You turn to poop. Keep forgetting my gigabombs. Okay, it doesn't do so much to uh, the heart. Beautiful. Look how generous the timer is on that. 77 seconds left. As if it's ever taken anyone 77 seconds to kill Mum's heart. Right. We got up here. Why not? Just taking whatever we can get now. Turn you all into poopses. This is my last resort. Little gigabomb there. Just a little gigabomb. Just chilling. Oh, ha, ha, ha. The music is popping again. Yeah, Isaac's heart is going to make this near impossible to not get hit. So, <laughs> just accept the damage. Oh, it gave us a soul heart for, for finishing the room, so I don't mind too much. <laughs> that was the most satisfying room ever. Yeah, no thank you, sirs. All the extra soul hearts. Honestly, bless Penny. Probably one of the best pickups we, we could have gotten with the synergy. So good. It's a really cool item, the, the Penny one, that allows you to, like, have a reliable way of picking up pennies to trigger effects. And then also scaling damage based on those pennies. I wasn't sure if it was based on how much money you have. Or if it was based on how much um, damage you had. But it seems to be damage. Because otherwise it wouldn't be killing things as quick as it is. Look at this. We have, like, minutes. Literal minutes on our timer to kill Isaac. Are you kidding me? We did it. We're going to do it in, like, 30 seconds. It's silly. <laughs> We have 200 seconds left. It spawned two of these chests. Fucking hell. <laughs> Just silly. Speedrun is a busted item. Aquarius should do an insane amount of damage.
Uh, this, this strategy is going to be quite as effective against bosses, but we'll for sure try it. Mega chest. Just punching bag, really, that we need, but oh well. Oh, what in the flippity flip is this room? Wait, can I just poop you all? No, I cannot. I am stuck within your grasp. What in the flippity flip is this room? Why does this exist? I don't even know where the last button is. What the fuck is... What the hell is this? <laughs> that was fucking stupid. <laughs> I lost so much health to that room. Why is there so many buttons that I gotta press? We need more health, like, seriously badly. I don't know what you're doing, Gish, right now, but you're moving weird. It scares me. I'm just like silent at the minute because this is tricky. That's weird. We got the Terraterma chunk for uh, killing Terraterma. Those enemies were annoying. Turn them all into poops. Apparently we took red heart damage at some point. I don't really know how. What on earth is going on right now? Oh, I deal damage to them by killing the worms, I see. A long-ass room. It's a very long room. What on earth is going on in this room? And we still beat it in time. I thought that took forever. What on earth is going on with these rocks? I thought they were golden rocks then. I thought they were fool's gold ones. Okay. Losing health rapidly still. That helps at least. What on earth happened here? I have absolutely no idea what caused all of this, but I'm happy. We got a lot of health out of it. Ah, so this is this plus time trial uh, or speed run, whatever it's called, is really bugged. You get one of the items for free. It's kind of funny. Actually, you get all of the items for free. That's probably hilarious. One of those shop spawns, you just get all of it. Because it tries to spawn it twice. Okay, we're not doing too bad now. So many enemies about. Go away from your big head. Tonsil as well in there, why not? Okay, should get some soul hearts out of this. We got one so far. No, two, there you go.
Was that a whole room? What the hell? Double luck pennies. Nice. Quickly go and grab this again. <laughs> no, thank you. One makes you larger. No, thanks. Brother Bobby, why not? Okay, health is looking more than fine now. Boss time, and then we'll go and do Mega Satan. Oh, there's a lot of pennies in here. The speed at which that kills stuff is insane. How long do we get for this one? We, we get less than 200 seconds for this guy. Why is that? I don't particularly understand. There you go. He is dead. We get the double chest drop. I wonder if it spawns a void portal if it'll spawn two. If it spawns two chests, it seems like it would. Right. Let's go back over to wherever our uh, starting room is, which I honestly can't remember where that is. I think it's this left room here. Yeah, it is. Okay. Right. With Revelation, we should have a pretty decent chance of killing this guy pretty quickly. Yeah, because we're going to be firing Ipecac shots the whole time. And then whenever Revelation procs, it's going to do a lot. Actually, that didn't really do all that much. Trying to kill the hands as quick as I can. That stops a bunch of his attacks. Okay, this could end up getting, giving us some self damage. I think we're okay though. Using pills like crazy. We have taken a good amount of damage here, but I think we're still fine. That's a Giga Bomb. Which I don't know if that dealt any damage to him or not. I really wasn't sure there. Ooh, these guys are slightly resprayed. Looks Ooh, they got new attacks too. Whoa, these guys have some new attacks. That's really cool. Where what other rooms can you find those Dark Angels in, by the way? Is it just the Mega Certain fight? I can't remember anywhere else they appear. It might just be me being stupid. I really don't remember though. Right. That's you taken care of, my ladder. We're going to take some damage here. I think we just get up real close and personal. We use some tiny bombs. Deal some extra damage. Why do the tiny bombs keep getting blasted away? Stay in front of him. This honestly seems like the way to go. Revelation's doing a good job, but I'm just scared at the minute. I've got very low health. I don't even know what Isaac's heart is right now. Okay, he's just about dead. There we go, we got him. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad of a run. I'm not going to do Void. I don't have the health for it. Either way, we didn't get the option. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.